So they, they were uh, obviously in a game of uh, you know, teams, uh, two teams that were um, in desperate need of a win. You know, they played better. They were tougher. Um, they played better than us, coached better than us. Just a, a tough loss, obviously. Um, pretty, pretty demoralized uh, group uh, right now. Um, and it doesn't get any easier in this new league. So uh, we better get a lot tougher. Um, and we better get back to playing much better defense because with, with what we can do offensively, our margin for victory, our margin uh, of error to win any game in this league moving forward is very, very narrow and very thin. And if we're not tough and defensive minded with all of our offensive deficiencies, uh, you know, it, it's going to be tough sledding. Dan, you made two lineup changes in this game today. What was the mindset behind it? How do you evaluate how that worked out? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like when, um, you know, when we were when we were healthier, you know, when, when we, uh, you know, when we when we had one of the best players in the country, we we were just getting just enough from the point guard position. Um, obviously, with the situation that we're in right now, we need a lot more from the point guard position if we're going to win games the way we're constant, uh, the way that we're uh, constituted currently. So, um, you know, rewarding uh, rewarding Jalen. Um, for having a really strong offensive game the last time out. And then also, you know, trying to send RJ a message that we need a lot more from him, uh, not just offensively, but as a leader and as a defender and as a tough guy. So um, obviously I'm not sure what to do now because, you know, Jalen didn't play very well and RJ had a good first half and, um, you know, didn't, didn't give us a lot in the second half. With that in mind, how close was James Booknight to playing in this game? Not, not close. Uh, you know, th things. Um, you know, there, there was a. You know, he, he you know, James and and uh, you know, James met with his doctor, and uh, you know, just I, I wouldn't. Uh, you know, I guess we'll keep him at a game time as a game time decision. Um, you know, but but he. he he needs more time. You got some real good performance by your young guns, Sonogo and also Jackson. Talk about their play and especially the defensive job, Sonogo versus Watson. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, that's the only, um, you know, right now, you know, for us, just looking at the game, being able to get those guys just valuable minutes, um, I, I guess for the stretch run of the season and, and the long-term, you know, health uh, of the program, what we're trying to do here. Uh, it, it's probably like the only good thing uh, that came from today was getting two freshmen uh, a ton of minutes. So. Gavin? Dan, are you getting the shots you want offensively? I mean, what's behind the struggles? Just... It, I mean, obviously, it looked like they lacked a little confidence. You talked about being demoralized a little bit from losing. Yeah, I mean, you know, Gavin, you you have access to, uh, you know, the, the statistics. I mean, you you see the shooting numbers. We we we're, you know, that there's not, um, you know, that there's there, there's not a lot of ways for us to go. I mean, I thought Tyler, you know, got seven or eight great looks from three. You know, he, he made one, um, you know, we got the paint and we were in position to potentially make plays and we either didn't finish or we, you know, we couldn't deliver. Um, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, for us, there's, there's not a lot of, it's not a lot of guys right now that we could just throw the ball to and they could bail us out. Um, nor, um, you know, it's just I, I, probably the most confidence that we have right now is, is probably throwing it into Adama, and and Watson was, you know, Watson was a tough was a tough matchup for him, and and our guards were brutal against three quarter court pressure, so it was taking us, you know, forever to get into something, which you know, was was really incredible. Thanks. 
Yeah. Dan, can you uh, can you address Sonogo's performance today? Obviously, he did a little bit of everything for you, a steal and the, the blocks, all those things. I mean, obviously, he's one guy who's given you, I, I imagine, just about everything you're looking for, maybe more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, for you know, for this league and you know the the level that this league is at compared to the last league that we were in. Um, this is a big jump up, and obviously with what he's displayed uh, on game night and what he shows us every day, you know, we, we feel like, you know, th th there's a guy right there that um, that we know is Biggie's caliber and uh, could help us get back to playing at the top of the food chain here. Uh, but his rim protection today was really, really good. Um, you know, he got schooled a little bit by Watson. Um you know, on some pre pre uh, you know some pre catch post defense, but um, he's a special guy, and you know just seeing him and Andre run around out there was really maybe RJ's first half was pretty much all we had from today. Any other questions, guys? Any other hands up? No. Yeah, me. Can I ask a question? Okay. Yeah, I don't see your hand, but go ahead. That's up. Uh, Dan, uh, uh, a lot of possessions in the second half went all the way down to the end of the shot clock. Is there a way of, even with what you have, to be more aggressive to the hoop to make something happen? Or were you satisfied that it went down that far and you're trying to win, you know, 55-50? Or is there any kind of offensive answer off a of flow standpoint to be more aggressive? Yeah, Jeff, I think the, obviously the three quarter court, um, you know, pressure, you know, bothered us, you know, we weren't very aggressive against it. You know, we, we wanted to try to attack it more, throw the ball ahead and see if we could get something, you know, something quick. Um, so we weren't really getting into anything until there was like 17 on the clock. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we would love to, um, you know, have, you know, more dynamic things happen happening earlier in the possession um, and, and to be able to be more prolific. Uh, but I think right now you have a lot of guys that are struggling, you know, with, with their confidence, you know, you, offensively. Obviously, you know, Booknight, um, he disguised a lot of our deficiencies at that end of the court, um, you know, but... Uh, we, we don't have a lot of places to go, um, you know, with the ball offensively right now that we have a lot of confidence in. So we've got to try to win ugly with our defense and, you know, and, and playing low possessions on offense because we're not going to win many games in the, that get north of 70 with this group. Maybe even I could ask, 60. If I could ask a follow-up on book night, I want to ask this as respectfully as possible. Uh, after the game was against Seton Hall, you said the kid's a baller. He pushed hard to play. He put a lot of pressure on the medical staff. And, you know, we, we know what you tell us, you know what I mean? And, I, and I, that led to a, a lot of speculation that he was going to, you know, play today in a game time decision. And now we hear that he said he's further away. Those two statements aren't congruous. And I was just, if, if you could help, help me close the gap. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'll do the best I can without painting myself into a corner. Um, you know, again, he, um, you know, o over the weekend went went live and you know went live into practice and um, you know really you know was imploring our medical staff to uh, you know to allow him to play, which we don't. Um, you know, which, which, which we obviously, um, you know, he used, uh, you know, a, a separate surgeon for the surgery and, and that surgeon, you know, when he met, you know, he met with James on, on Monday to get cleared for this game um, today. And, you know, he had discomfort still and, uh, you know, and, and, the, and the, the, obviously him and you know, the, the surgeon, um, you know, made a decision to, uh, to shut him down longer. Thank you. Yeah. So that was, yeah, that was it. You, that's not UConn doctors uh, or, 
or, or, or UConn, uh, you know, training staff or, or the team doc don't have the authority to clear James. It's it's obviously the surgeon that, um, you know, that, that, that he chose. Sean McFarland. I, going back to Sonogo, um, he has three of his last four games coming to this. He had double digits and then tonight he, he stops the box score on, on both sides. What in terms of his development have you seen in these past four or five games compared to where he came in, you know, earlier this year? Have you seen him make that leap as the season has gone on? I guess just talk about the, the development he's made from beginning of the year to now. Yeah, I mean, he wants to do well so badly. You know, he's, uh, um, you know, he, he, he puts a lot of pressure on himself because he wants it so bad, uh, you know, and, and um, so I think he's settled, just settled down more. Um, when he's on the court, you know, he's, he's just scratching the surface. The things we see him do daily, um, you know, are pretty impressive. I love the, again, I love the way he protected the rim today. I love the way he, he fought on the backboard and, uh, you know, he's, you know, right, right now he's, you know, he's, he's, he's developing into, you know, you know, potentially our best player, which, you know, is, is good news for the future, but not, not great news for uh, the remainder of the, of the, of the Big East calendar, because it's not too many league uh, teams in this league whose best players are freshmen and they're doing well. Hey guys, is that it? I don't see anybody else's hand up. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Kind of uh, at halftime and maybe early second half, you guys, you know, leading at one in the break and then up three. What kind of led to Providence pulling away there, getting up 10-11? Uh, we just playing string together stops. Uh, you just we let, you let, every, let everything for David Duke come too easy. Um, he was comfortable out there. Um, he was getting to the spot scoring. So, I mean, we just let up. I think we let up defensively. Hi. RJ, I think there's been a lot of talk recently about James coming back and, you know, playing soon, sooner than later. And, and you know, now that he hasn't been cleared, do you feel like kind of on you and, and some of your teammates to really take it upon yourselves and just make the best of this situation and not kind of wait for James to come back? Yeah, I mean, it's on all of us to step up in, in his absence um, so that by the time he comes back, we're able to just, rather than having to uh, start over, we can just keep, uh, we can insert him back in and just keep moving forward. Um, so we had to, like I said, all of us had to keep coming together to, to make the best of it. Yeah. RJ, why do you think you guys uh, have been struggling on offense? We're struggling on offense today. What, what kind of led to that? I mean, God, people, I guess, I can't really tell you. You just got to make shots. Yeah. Struggling hey, with that. Sorry. Are you getting the shots that you want, you think, your team? It, it... We got the shots today. We had a lot of open looks. Um, we just didn't knock them down. Uh, we, when it comes down to it, we have to be able to hit those open shots that other teams are hitting against us. Um, RJ, what, what's the confidence level of – the team right now is that something that over the next few days uh, you guys may have to do some soul searching just to kind of get your confidence back. Um, yeah, I mean it's frustrating losing, uh, losing. Um, so you had to keep, you had to come back in the next day uh, over practice uh, and just and just keep pushing and working ourselves back into where we were before we were winning. Um, so we, everybody has to come together and, and continue to keep the, and make those necessary steps so that. We're not on the, the wrong end of the stick anymore. Any other questions, guys? Nobody? Okay. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks, RJ. Wow. Good. See you guys later.